Learning to focus on one thing can be quite difficult. I am a multitasker. Since I have a lot of things on my plate, I need to multitask to get more done. But over the years, I've realized that doing more than one thing at one time was actually draining my energy. My attention was divided anyway, but my memory was also taking a toll. Since then, I have been working really hard to become a single tasker and learning the power of focus. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you four steps to strengthen your focus. Try it and test it by yours truly. Let's get started. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I am a certified coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press a bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. So we all know that if we narrow down our attention on something, we will be able to concentrate better and get a better output. But our attention is a limited resource, isn't it? Mine certainly is. There are so many distractions and pushing ourselves away from them can be a bloody difficult task. Did I say bloody? So what can we do to make it stop? Let me explain to you with a scenario. Let's say you want to write an article and focus completely on this. You open up your notepad and begin typing. Then something pings on your phone and you automatically reach out for it to check what it is. One thing leads to another and you spend almost 10 minutes scanning, surfing, swiping, typing on your phone. You completely moved out of the thought that you had when you started writing the article. Does this sound familiar? It happened many times with me. So to achieve unwavered focus and to get into the flow, here are some things that I've done and you can do too. The first one is to understand my habits and tendencies. Run through how your typical day is. Where are you getting distracted more often? What is your biggest distraction? Noticing when you're getting drifted out or drifted away is the first step for you to returning back into focus. Remember, awareness is the first step to change. So when you can heighten your awareness on your habits and tendencies, and when you practice moment to moment awareness throughout the day, you will get distracted less often and have a better chance at returning back into focus sooner. So understanding what your tendencies are and your distractions will basically help you as a first step. The second step then would be for you to create a distraction-free environment. Depending on how much time you need, try to keep all your distractions away from your place of work. For example, if your phone is your biggest distraction, you can sort of keep it away. You can put it in a locked up in your drawer or in a different room, at least until you finish the task. But if you cannot do that because the phone is so important in our lives, if you're not able to keep yourself away from it, there are a couple of things you can do. You can put it on a DND mode uh, or turn off all your notifications or you play the music until you finish your task. Third, you take a momentary pause every time you feel the need to get to it, to your phone that is, considering we are still talking about this as a distraction. When you keep your phone away, believe me, you will have this desperate need, need to reach to it. That's exactly what addiction is. So when you get pulled up by such need, Take a momentary pause and take a deep breath until the urge goes away and it will go away. Four, you repeat all the three steps until it becomes a habit. Why? Because consistency is the key. You cannot do it one time and expect things to change. We have to make small progress every single day consistently until it becomes a part of our life. It becomes our lifestyle. These four steps understanding your habits and tendencies, creating a distraction-free environment, taking a momentary pause when you're having an urge to get distracted and repeating the steps again and again are part of a mindfulness exercise. Tony Robbins said, where the focus goes, energy flows. Being mindful and following all these four steps are going to help you strengthen your focus. What are your views on it? Do leave me a note in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. I'll see you next week with another video. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.